Season one of the Netflix original series, The Neighbor, debuted on New Year's Day of 2020, and I had a lot of fun with that Spanish language first season. Season two is out now, but should you be binging it? Javi is a struggling t-shirt maker, but his life turns around when an alien crashes to Earth. Javi picks up the alien's medallion and some pills that now provide him with a suit and some superpowers, including the ability to fly and super strength. When season one ends, Javi's ex-girlfriend Lola has taken one of the pills and discovered that she too possesses superpowers. So who really is the one chosen to protect Earth? That show still really reminds me a lot of The Greatest American Hero, and that is a cheesy superhero TV show from the early 80s. I mean, the concept is the same. We have this ordinary guy who is bestowed with powers, but he has zero idea how to control them or what their purpose is. In this current season, the show takes on a slightly more angry tone. The relationships between Javi, Lola, Jose Ramon, and Julia were strained before, but now they just feel very contentious and even mean through a lot of their interactions. And with that, the show loses some of the oddity, the humor, and the charm. I mean, there's still moments that are upbeat or humorous, but I'd classify the overarching tone as just angry. The special effects are used pretty sparingly in this season, and when the characters fly, they're typically in the background or they're far from the camera. And then when objects are lifted into the air, they're mostly out of focus in the background. There are some times towards the end of the season where we get some different types of scenery, and the graphics in those scenes are eh, just kind of okay at best. Now this doesn't really ruin the show for me though, because there's already this layer of cheese that is present as the story goes along. The story arc in one sense is kind of predictable as we watch the character interactions and the conflict of Javi and Lola as it just builds to who really is the chosen one. But there's also an addition that I didn't see coming, and it's a bit bizarre, but it's also kind of obvious. The direction the show takes makes sense in hindsight, but as it was going along, I was almost worried that it was kind of losing its point and just kind of aimlessly drifting. And as much as I dislike the character of Javi for the majority of this season, there are still qualities that pull me in. I mean, he's self-centered, very hubristic, argumentative and rude, but because of these negative qualities, if he makes changes, we get to see some good character growth. And there are moments that we do see some forward progression with Javi. And the same goes for Lola. She's almost the female version of Javi. I think she is less self-centered though, and her actions really are trying to do good, but she's so desperate to prove Javi wrong or to be the chosen one that she makes terrible decisions that just lead to chaos. For me though, I feel the most for the character of Jose Ramon. He's like the consummate friend. I mean, he is always there for whoever needs him, despite being overlooked, taken advantage of, and just generally emotionally abused by his so-called friends. And there are moments where he shines, but really the character of his character makes me really like him and root for him. Now, unlike the first season, this second go round is only eight episodes and each around about 30 minutes long. And even with the smaller number of episodes, this sometimes drags as the story's told. It feels like there's a fair amount of rehashing that goes on and overall they needed to just pad the time for the amount of content that they had. This causes some of the episodes to feel much longer than the 30 minutes, and it also makes the show feel like it doesn't really know where it's going. There are a lot of plot conveniences thrown in too to just help the story along, even though I don't think it needed them. The setup for the story is good, and I think it's solid. It's just that the second season felt like they had an idea, but it wasn't enough content to fill out the number of episodes they had to produce. So then they add in filler, but then they also have to add in ways for our characters to either get in or out of that filler situation. And personally, I would have loved to watch Lola try to figure out her powers like we did with Javi. To watch somebody struggle through an unknown set of newly discovered skills could just be really funny and entertaining. It was also give them the opportunity to use some gags or setups that they had to set aside for time or just for whatever reason from season one when Javi was learning his powers. So overall, this was a half decent follow up to the first season. The angrier tone and slower pace did wane on me and caused me to not have as much fun as I did in that previous season. The cheese and melodrama is still present, but that didn't detract from the show for me. It actually added a little bit of comfort because it was familiar. If you really enjoyed the first season, you've probably been looking forward to this one. I mean, I know I was. And despite not enjoying it as much as before, I'll still watch subsequent seasons because I'm invested in the characters and I wanna see how this is all gonna play out. There's a little bit of sex and nudity, a bunch of profanity, and some violence. I give season two of The Neighbor two and a half out of five couches. So what are you streaming right now? I'd love to hear what you're watching in the comments below. 
If you enjoyed this review, please give it a like. Also, don't forget to share and subscribe. I'm Chris. This is Movies and Munchies. Thanks for couching with me. Believe it or not, I'm walking on air. I never thought I could be so free. Man, I need to pull out those DVDs. I actually have season one of The Greatest American Hero someplace buried in my garage on DVD. Ah, the nostalgia. And it's so terrible, too. What is it? William Cat and Robert Culp, I think? I don't know. But, hey, you know, it probably won't hold up, but whatever.